Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Retro Video Arcade. David Denine Porter here with my special guest, Nathan Fielder. Nathan, how's it going? Hi. Thanks for having me, David. What's the game you brought for us to take a look at this week? Now that we're actually doing it, I'm a little embarrassed to say. Uh, the game's called Hot Sister. So this is a game I play all the time. In the game, the main character, he is attracted to his sister, which is something that's difficult to relate to. Yeah. You basically have to distract yourself from remembering that your sister is the most beautiful woman in the world. So then your character cruises for money girls. Prostitutes? Well, you can call them different things. I mean, there's a lot of casual names for them. Um, the goal is to find one that looks like Talia. Sandra. What did I say? Your sister's name is Talia, right? It is actually, yeah. Okay. I don't know why that came out, but uh, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> Next phase of the game, in order to get these prostitutes to look like your sister Sandra, you have to break into Sandra's room and steal some of her clothes, and this gets pretty tricky. You dress up the prostitute, and then you have to make love to the, to the prostitute. That is an effective way to get that out of your system, your character's system, mm -hmm. so you don't do anything, you know, that would cause issues within your family and stuff like that. Yeah, I was, you know, just describing the game. For example, with my sister, Talia, uh, genetically, even if you were to have kids, uh, even though there is actually a small percent chance the kids won't come out uh, mentally challenged, it's very likely they will. Okay, uh, right. You finally have an encounter with your actual sister, which may not go the way you wanted. The sister in the game tells you that she's actually dating your twin brother. So why isn't she dating you? You know what I mean? You know, the fact that you just can't get her is like this very frustrating part at this point in the game. Yeah, okay. And this is actually just another reason why the game is different from my life. Uh, you know, I don't have a twin brother at all. Now you get to the final phase of the game. You have to break into a Walmart and steal some lighter fluid. You have to kill yourself one of two ways. You can drink the lighter fluid and die that way, or you can pour the lighter fluid on yourself and light yourself on fire. You know, in real life, I don't know if you'd go that far. There are things you can do like therapy and stuff that can really help you tackle those issues. How many years would you guess it would take? You'd go very regularly for seven years and then once a week for just maintenance after that. Right. The main takeaway from a game like this is that it's an escape. It's something that I could go to to play that would make me not think about the thoughts I have in my real life. Yeah. My sister, I mean, I'm assuming like objectively speaking, you could from an outside perspective, someone could see her as attractive. Yeah, I think your sister's pretty beautiful. Uh, I, honestly, David, I wouldn't know. Right. Like, I just don't notice, you know, her body. I don't, I'm not thinking about her body. You know, I'm not thinking about, I'm not thinking about that stuff. All right, thank you very much. Come back next week for some more Retro Video Arcade. Bing 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 b